second part of Kafka setup on Mule. So in this particular video we will be learning about how to uh, create a sample project in Mule Software Independent Studio and get it integrated with Kafka platform. So just to give a uh, background to this video, uh, this is like uh, one of the series based uh, video and uh, you need to refer the previous version of uh, the same topic which is already uploaded on my channel and it talks about like how to set up the Kafka on your local machine and it also give a brief introduction about the different Kafka concept and the use cases so within this particular video we will be uh, creating a sample mule API um, which is going to connect with the Kafka platform and it is going to publish a particular message on test topic the Kafka topic which we have created and we will consume the same message uh, from that topic so let's get started so I will open the uh, endpoint studio I will uh, go for right click and go for new new project I will name it as a Kafka finish so it says something already exist why is it so uh, let me uh, delete it I just want to be double sure like uh, I'm not uh, overwriting somewhere so again let me put some different name Kafka POC mail server 422 EE that is the latest one default location of my workspace click on finish it will take a couple of seconds to load this uh, particular flow and as usual we will start with our HTTP listener our favorite one right and just drag and drop and uh, let's quickly configure this particular flow so I will call this flow as uh, maybe Kafka publisher flow okay and here I will put to uh, publish or basically push messages and I need to be the connector configuration a 0 a 2 I will use test connection so we are good click ok so we are pretty much done from this side but I will make this one as post method and let's bring in a logger so within logger I am going to put to the payload received or basically the message the message received to be published is put hash and date of the payload and now something specific about Kafka I will go to exchange and look for any Kafka connector it is available I will click on uh, this one finish so after adding the Kafka connector you can see some couple of palettes available like batch message listener this is to support the consumption of messages from the Kafka cluster it will produce a list of messages to the flow uh, this is a commit uh, it is basically for the acknowledgement part and this would be a list or single message consumed in the uh, batch message listener source that is it is being used uh, in combination with batch message listener consume is the consumer the very basic one it works similarly to the message listener source so all the operation that apply to that will apply to this operation as well but this is not a starter operation so it cannot be used in the source part a message listener will be the starter uh, or you, you can say the source uh, palette activity and it supports the consumption of messages from Kappa cluster producing single message to the flow publish like uh, it will be publishing a message on a particular topic and 
we will be using this one quite frequently and it says the offset value for the given topic partition consumer group of the listeners so this is uh, more related to the admin api functionality uh, i must say so let's quickly uh, drag and drop the publish part onto here and uh, i would also like to add a set payload <clears throat> so we are done with the configuration of listener logger so let's configure the kafka publisher i would like to rename this one this doesn't sound very familiar so let's put something like push messages for kafka topic i will create a new configuration so guys please uh, uh, have a close look on this one i will go for edit inline in the bootstrap server i will click on plus sign it uh, will give me a value to put in i will put local host caller 9092 this is the one which we have configured in our uh, all these previous setup i will click on finish i will go for test connection yes it's successful okay over here i would like to put something like payload dot topic name i will be uh, sending the topic name from uh, from the payload itself uh, within partition i can keep it blank within key i will mention as the current timestamp only so this should be okay for now let's see over here what it is functional transaction action we are, we are going to discuss this particular um, feature in uh, later part of our videos so we are pretty much good over here let's save this guy and within the set payload uh, i would like to put something different message is published to Kafka topic okay so this is the Kafka publisher uh, flow now let's uh, create the consumer part of it I will drag and drop the message listener I would like to rename this flow as well Kafka consumer flow maybe and uh, it will be good if we have a logger to log this oh message consume and put hash of the payload to hash and let's configure the message listener instead of message listener let's put to consume the message on Kafka topic and let's configure the connection settings and for bootstrap server you always click on edit inline option click on plus we'll put some values around it so it will be local host called 9092 finish group id we can mention same as the default test type and consumer type and group pattern i would like to specify a particular topic name i will click on plus and we'll say test topic finish i'll go for test connection we can keep assignment as it is go for test connection so test connection is successful we should be good to go ahead rest of the things are uh, not mandatory so we will keep it as it is but uh, this is like for the poll timeout like how much time it will uh, it will wait before uh, getting a timeout if uh, there is no message available 
so if you are not specifying anything so it will wait for uh, forever and basically we can put some value over here and we can connect like which exact unit it is the acknowledge moon if it is not being selected auto is by default and and the amount of parallel consumers like how many consumer it can con um, mess, uh, consumers can consume the same message so this logger is also set we are pretty much good with this so let's start in the run mode we will right click and go for run project keep observing these particular logs which are logging now we will wait for this application to get up and running so we are pretty much good So this particular piece of code like it is mentioning what is the group test consumer consumer client this is the group which we have set so the cluster id and uh, this is the bootstrap server url and uh, yeah this is pretty much it i will clear this console and uh, we'll push something from here from the postman So uh, this is like on the edge right to push message and it is in the body and it's in the message as well as the topic name. Uh, one thing I remember like better to uh, push the message. So yes, you can see all the logs getting updated once again. I will clear up it. Is up and running, so let's hit the send button. I will go over here. It is showing the first part is complete, but it is not being consumed from here. And test topic, it is taking a sample. Okay, so I, if you remember, we have set up uh, a test topic, not the sample. So I need to make some change over here. Test topic, and let's see once again. Clear up this console. Hit send button. Message published to Kappa topic. So it means our test flow is in work properly. And uh, this is from the second uh, second flow uh, that is from this particular logger is in hello world mule soft uh, because we are printing the message consumed so it should show message consumed after it the main message and this is the main message which we have set and this is being picked up from the set payload activity so in this manner uh, I have shown you like how we can connect uh, to Kafka topic using a sample new four based uh, project. Uh, I hope you like this video and uh, it will help you to further explore the different activities which are available within Kafka connector. You can explore the different options based on your business use case uh, for basically for batch message, commit, and if required seek so guys uh, you need to uh, notice one more thing uh, for this entire uh, studio to run the basic thing is like you have to first set up your kafka platform which we have set up in our first part of the video and you have to keep that kafka instance running otherwise it will through some uh, one or the another error like uh, the instance is not available basically so i hope you like this video and uh, stay tuned for the next set of upcoming exciting videos thanks a lot